All right, let's talk about taking great photos of people. Number one is composition of your photograph. Okay, use those grid lines that you have in your iPad and make sure that their eyeballs are on that top line, just like mine are. Okay, and if you really wanna do it, if the person is facing one way or the other, you need to move them. Okay, for example, if I face this way, I need to move over so that I'm where those two lines meet over here. And you have what's called um, nose room, or, or it's sometimes called leading lines. So it's where they're looking, there is the space there so that it looks natural. If I was to go this way and face out this way and all this is behind me and I have no room where I'm looking, no nose room, that just looks weird. Okay, you get that? Yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of facing away from the microphone so the audio is gonna be a little weird on that one. But that's what I wanted to show you. Now I'm looking dead on, so I'm gonna keep it, my face in the middle, but still my lines on the top of that grid. So that is uh, number one, really look at the composition of the photograph. Okay, and make sure you're using the grid and where those grids are crossing, you're using the appropriate nose room on your subject so it looks really good, okay? And number two is make sure the background is interesting. You don't want like, you know, a, a plant coming out of their head or, or, or something like that, a lamp post. Really keep an eye on the background. I have an interesting background behind me. It's got colors, it's got a light over there, it's got another light over here, but just really, look at what's in the background. Okay, so, so number one thing you've got to keep an eye on is the composition of your photograph. Are you following the grid lines, you know, and not, not putting the person way down here, you know, and having all this weird head space up here. You don't want that. You want to get them so that it looks really good, okay? And, and then uh, number two is that you're, you're watching the background as well, okay? So that is kind of lesson number one is the composition of the photograph.